talking some Syracuse football with John Casillo from Noon's Magician with the Orange hitting the practice field on March 21st for the first time this spring. Eric Dungy with uh, substantial improvement as a quarterback uh, last season under Dino Babers and uh, the rapid fire offense. Uh, I think there are some aspects uh, possibly, John, to the offense that lends itself to protecting the quarterback, getting the ball out of the hand quickly. At the same time, a ton of dropbacks. It's not like you're throwing the ball 22 times and handing it off the other 50 or 55. Uh, a lot is put on the quarterback, and anytime he's got the ball in his hands that many times, he's in harm's way. And uh, it's going to be a key to uh, success on the field, as it is with any team, keeping keeping the quarterback upright and in the game. And that hasn't been the the the, the situation for Dungey and Syracuse the last two years. No, I mean we, we've had a really young offensive line. I think we, you know, back in 2012, this is tracing back a little bit. Uh, you know, we had an offensive line that started for about three years together. Uh, there were guys who grew together, grew with the team. That 2012 team was pretty good. Went eight and five. Since then, it's been a lot of injuries. The step up to the ACC and those bigger defensive lines that we're up against um, has taken its toll on on what Syracuse has, has been able to do on the offensive line. So I think now, uh, you know, last year we really got banged up, but that led to a lot of younger guys seeing the field. So hopefully uh, that experience in 2016 allows for a young group in 2017, but a young and an experienced group um, be able to protect him. You know, they uh, – I think Syracuse in the bottom 20 in the country in, uh, in terms of sacks allowed last year. Uh, Dungy obviously takes off quite a bit himself. Um, and you saw that uptick as the year went on last year um, when he felt like he had to kind of play hero ball, take the, the offense into his own hands. Uh, that's when you started seeing him get hit more. And that has a lot to do with the offensive line being able to protect him, but it also has a lot to do with him also taking some unnecessary risks and ones that the uh, – the coaching staff has expressed numerous times they'd, they'd love it if he took a few less.